name is Bill Southern and you're at Nugget Shooter Journals. And as many of you know, we do freeze drying, Tammy and I. And I'm doing another load today, just giving you an update on what's been going on. We've got a lot of food stored away. And today, we're going to be doing some ground beef patties. Okay. And that's smoked mac and cheese. More patties. And we got white corn. And the machine right now is ready to be loaded so that's what we're going to do we've got the drain valve closed already if you don't do that of course you can't build up a vacuum and we're going to open this up and we're going to put our food in here now this is all pre-frozen which really helps in speeding up the process slide them in like so you can see the steam coming out of there it's so cold and there's another load and here goes the mac and cheese a couple burgers this amazes me how much water comes off this food because when you uh drain it it fills a bucket off to the side here i'll show you in a second and these go in here this is all pre pre chilled and the food's pre-frozen and so we're going to shut the door And we're going to continue. And now we're freezing and we're at 24 degrees to start out because the food's frozen. But here's the bucket down here. You can see it's got water in it now. But uh, you drain this after every use. And it's all this moisture in this food will be sublimed out and it'll stick to the sides of this thing. And when you defrost it or uh, take the food out and just let it sit on its own, the water drains into the bucket. And of course we've got our vacuum pump with a little fan on it. And the cool thing is, is we got a lot of food put away. Give me a second and I'm going to show you. But here's our project for today. And that's going to take probably 18 to 20 hours. But that only cost me a couple bucks. Maybe three dollars. Okay, I'm back. Here's some of the stuff we just did. These are black eyed peas that Tammy made for uh, New Year's, which is a tradition where she's from. And they're really good. And there's a couple servings in there. And we keep them in these tubs. As you can see, we got quite a bit of food put away already. And uh, we keep them in these tubs so they don't get bashed up or dirty or too hot, too cold. And we keep them in a dry, cool area. Fairly cool anyway. And we even got more over here. We've been busy. And these are all meals. And ham. All kinds of stuff. And here, <laughs> look what else is in there. Okay. And we used to take, use this backpacker stuff pretty frequently. And we don't anymore because we make our own. And it's so much better. And I'll tell you something right now, my friends. There's some more. Everything from celery to... What do we got here? Mixed veggies. You know, just a couple servings each. But let me tell you something, my friends. All the evidence is there that food prices are going to go crazy. And we're doing as much stuff as we can while it's on sale, still reasonably priced. And we're going to start doing some eggs here, too. Um, we got chickens, but we're going to try to put away as many eggs as we can. And the egg prices have gone insane, along with some other stuff. And it's going to be really nice to be able to eat some eggs or meat or whatever the, whatever it may be you want when the prices get too high to be able to afford some of that stuff. And I know some of you folks are like us. You're not super rich or anything. And it's really nice to have a way to put away food. And we've got a lot put away now. I'd say, well, going on two years worth easily, including the uh, mountain house and uh, other meals that I have stashed away too. I've always been kind of good about keeping food on hand. And all we need is water, and we got food. So I don't know whether the food prices are going the way they are, or if there's a disaster, or if the power grid goes out or something. We're all set. And I highly recommend, after using one of these now for so long, that uh, this is the way to go, my friends. And that whole unit right there, um, you can even buy them at some big box stores now. But this unit's about... I don't know, 2600 bucks or something like that. If you use a coupon in my uh, 
description below the uh, in the front front of the video there and there's a coupon where you get to save some money and this one comes with a premium pump but if you don't have food put away and you got kids or you're looking at the future you little nervous like we are um, I highly recommend you get one of these it comes with a sealer it comes with bags it comes with everything you need and bags and stuff like that are readily available so anyway I'll be back after a while and we'll take a look at this stuff in the freeze dryer and see how it's doing a little bit of a reflection but it's kind of foggy on there it's a little condensation on the outside and it's been 23 minutes and we are down to a low temp of seven degrees okay and now when this thing gets to be about oh 20 below somewhere in there it'll kick in and start drying and that, do the vacuum freezing so i'll be back all righty 43 minutes into the cycle some condensation on the outside it's like 80 percent humidity here in arizona we've had a lot of rain and after 43 minutes and 31 seconds we are at below zero temperatures now so it'll just be a little bit more and it's going to kick in and start doing the uh, vacuum freezing then the drying let me get my shadow out of the picture there but there you go and I guess I'll name this machine. I've sat around and have it's just a system name. I can actually put my name in there or whatever I want. So anyway, I'm just kind of giving you a play-by-play -play as this thing moves along. Alrighty, we switched to the uh, drying stage now. And you'll notice the temperature now is quite a bit different. Okay, that is because the trays in this little compartment here are heating up and they get up to about 124 degrees and all around it is below zero and because of that the water just kind of sublimes out and is withdrawn under vacuum and dries the food completely takes all the water out of it and then we get to the next step of uh, bagging it up and putting it away That'd be one of the coolest things I've ever owned. And uh, like I said, it's a really good idea the way things are going now. And uh, egg prices are so crazy right now. We just ordered a bunch of eggs from uh, for online delivery. And it's going to be delivered to us. And they're a lot cheaper than they were in the store at Sprouts. So we're going to freeze dry up a bunch of raw egg. You know, you got to scramble it first. and. Uh, you don't cook it, you, free, you freeze dry it up, and when you want it, you just pour it in a pan, add water, and make eggs. But I'm telling you, the price of eggs is a good example, like I said earlier, of what things are hap happening around us right now. And it's not cool. And I don't think prices are going to go down. I think they're going to go up more before they go down. So anyway, next time you see me in here, we'll be taking the food out of here and getting it ready to... Uh, put into bags. Now one thing I've learned that is very important here is when you take the food out of these trays you have to feel the bottom of the pan. If the pan's not uniformly hot to the touch or very warm it's not enough to burn you but it needs to be very warm because if it's cool at all that means there's still moisture in there and if you bag up stuff with moisture in it it goes bad real quick and we had that happen with a batch of uh, collard greens that we put away and the darn things weren't completely dry and I missed that part because I was new at it. This has been a long time ago and they turned the mush in the bag. So that's not good. So now I always make sure that the temperature is correct. And it's no problem if it's not correct and it's cool on the bottom and a couple are done, you take the ones that are done out, you hit more dry time, you punch it for a couple more hours, you run it until it feels uniformly warm and the food is completely dry. And if you want, you can actually break the food and see, but I found that if it's completely dry, the pan will be nice and warm all the way around. There won't be any cold spots on the food or on the bottom of the pan. Very, very important. Okay, we'll be back in uh, you know, quite a few hours, and we'll get this stuff out of here, and I'll show you what it looks like. All righty. 
We're at uh, five hours and 48 minutes in. And the temperature's 134 on the trays. And you can see the moisture and the ice that you can see on the burgers and stuff before is gone now. And if you look at the sides of the machine, you can see a white frost in there on both sides. It's hard to see through the reflection, I know, sorry, but it is what it is. Um, you can see the white frost in there, and that's where the moisture is now. And another important thing I should mention is I keep a fan on my vacuum pump, and you can see the oil moving in there. And it's very important to have clean oil and have the right oil level. You burn up one of these pumps and it's a bad day for you, cost-wise. So, anyway, that's what we're looking at right now. Looking pretty good. Whoop, whoop. And we're about, oh, I don't know, less than a quarter away from being done. So, like I said, this will be some t done sometime early next, tomorrow morning, probably. And uh, I'll stick with you for the whole thing, right through the bagging and the whole bit. So... There you go. Alrighty, seven hours in, seven hours and 13 minutes, 14 minutes. And you can see all the frost on the side. That's the moisture being pulled out, both sides. And here's what our panel looks like. Okay. As the temperature goes up in the trays, that also indicates that they're getting closer to being done, whatever, but where we are with that orange line right there, we're still looking at, oh geez, I'm gonna say, huh, probably nine to 10 hours from now. Sometime early, early this morning, it'll be done. Well, it's getting close now. And we're at 138 degrees. And we're into this nine hours and 20 minutes. And we're about three quarters done. So I'm gonna have to get up about midnight probably and uh, set this for a little more time. And then I'm guessing the corn's gonna take a little longer. And then I'll, uh, I'll have to get up really early in the morning and bag this stuff up and go back to bed. Well, good morning again. Well, we're done. Uh, about 4.30 this morning, I got up and put a couple extra hours on this. And we ended up with a total of 23 hours and 41 minutes. And everything's totally dry. And I'm going to open it up here and get everything out. And we're at 120-something degrees. At, at 6, 127. And first thing you do is you hit the button here. Okay, now this gives me several options. More dry time is what I used this morning. Okay, so you can punch that or you can defrost or no defrost. And right now I have to open this drain valve. You can hear the vacuum being released as it's sucked in air. The water is going to drain into that bucket. Okay. And the pump is off. The vacuum pump. And we just pop this baby open. And there's our finished product. And I can feel they're quite done. Completely dry. Burger meat. And completely dry. Mac and cheese. Yeah, look at there. And burger meat. And now we have more burger meat. You now when you reconstitute this burger, it comes out nice and pink and ready to cook. Pretty amazing. And here's our white corn. And yes, my hands are clean. Look at this. Nice and dry, huh? Just light and fluffy and dry. <laughs> Waiting for some water between now and 30 years from now, and it'll taste just like it did when it was brand new. So, how about that? Now I'm gonna get set up here to bag this stuff, and we'll do a little bit of the bagging together, 
And you got to make sure to use oxygen absorbers. These guys right here. And that keeps the oxygen from getting in the bags any way, shape, or form and removes whatever oxygen is in there, which also helps guarantee you're not going to have any spoiled food. Important. So anyway, I'll be back in a second. I always like to get these bags labeled first. And you always put on there, especially raw meat. Because if you don't, you might mistake meat that's raw for meat that's cooked. And that's not a good idea. And I mark how many servings or before servings. Two of these bags and two in one of the bags. And date, 1723. This bag will go aside. The contents, raw, burger, patties. And two servings. And the date. Now I'm going to do this for all these bags and the different things going in it. One of course will be the mac and cheese and uh, all this corn will be probably in one bag because there's uh, several servings there. And I'll get come back and show you how we're going to seal this stuff up. I like these larger size for the bigger bags. Work better. And I keep them in a sealed jar. The ones I don't use, because if you don't, they, they get ruined pretty quickly, sucking air. And we put one in each bag. And one more. And these have a little indicator in them. If it turns black or dark brown, it means that your oxygen observers are no good anymore. Pop them in there. Like that them back up and these will be good to go for the next batch okay so now after we throw away the garbage it's a simple matter of taking each of these bags and we're going to seal them up okay this is our burgers four of them and i try to squeeze as much air out as i can and that way the oxygen absorbers can finish sucking the bag in tight for me about five, six seconds, boom, done. This one goes over here. And here's our corn. Again, I try to push as much air out as I can. Seal the bag. And good. And I try to shake these a little flat so they're not too lumpy for storage. And these will be sucked down real tight. And I'll show them to you here about an hour after the oxygen absorbers do their job. It's pretty cool. Okay, here's our two burger patties. Now bags and stuff like that aren't expensive. And actually some of the big box stores will have them. You don't have to order them. But I also order from Wallaby, which is a good company that makes bags. And here's our mac and cheese. Again, try to get as much air out as I can. Seal it up. Now, if you're interested in one of these machines, there's always a link in my videos about these machines. And you can get a pretty good deal by following that link that I provide and going to their site. And I also get a little bit of a kickback as well. So, if you want one of these things, you can support me while you're doing it. And this comes with it when you buy the kit. These are all sealed up and ready to go. And that's all there is to it, my friends. And now we've got what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine burgers, which represents nine meals, basically. And we've got corn or mac and cheese to go with it. Kind of cool, huh? And that's all there is to it, my friends. And that's it for this video of freeze drying and using the Harvest Right freeze dryer. And like I said, with the food prices getting like they are, it's going to be a bad deal um, trying to buy food 
especially the food you want. I mean, it might get to the point where you got to buy whatever you can get. And that's just not acceptable to me. So we're putting away enough that we can uh, eat pretty much what we want and how we want as the prices keep soaring like they are. And we're getting this stuff a lot cheaper now while it's on sale and freeze drying it. And like I said, with freeze drying, my friends, when you reconstitute this stuff and cook it, it tastes almost just like or better in some cases than before it was freeze dried. So go figure. There are some things that don't work. Um, everybody ran a rage about Skittles. I thought they were kind of yucky. And some fruits are difficult. Um, we're going to be doing a load of strawberries here, maybe tomorrow. And I don't know. It's kind of fun. And I'm putting food away and food for the family that I share. And even with some of my friends. Cool deal. And like I said, it only costs like two or three bucks to run a batch for 24 hours, believe it or not. And that's pretty efficient if you ask me. So, for now, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you're interested in a freeze dryer, check the link out in my uh, description. Nugget Shooter, out.